Hello YouTube, a while ago I made a video on a mechanism to get uh, three functions to, uh, through one turntable and it looked something like this. Uh, the same technique can be used to get up to seven functions through one turntable and I decided to try it out with four and this is how it turned out. Uh, first of all, it is about twice as big as what you need to get three through one turn level, uh, which itself is about twice as big as what you need to get two through one turn level. And it's the same for four, uh, five functions, etc. It gets twice as big every time. And here are the four uh, inputs or outputs on each side. And as you can see, it can turn quite easily. Uh, the first function uh, is very simple. It's just a four uh, long uh, axle that goes straight through the middle of the turntable. And to get the uh, function out here, I just used uh, one of these wheels and a rubber band. Uh, because I use a rubber band, it can't support very high torque. But if you want that, you can use one of these wheels instead and some chain. To get the uh, so you can get very high torque. Uh, and let's try it out. Let's see if it works. Oh, let's this here. You can see that yes, it does indeed turn. Doesn't work very well, but at least it works. And you know it's rubber band, so it's not that great. The second function is the function that works the worst. Uh, and it takes a very complicated route through here and up to here. So let's see how it works now. I will hold uh, the inner mechanism so all the other outputs doesn't turn. As you can see it does work but not very well and the gear wheels click a lot. So not very practical but at least it works. It's all just a proof of concept anyways. The third function goes from middle to middle and if there were any uh, 36 tooth gears and discs like these with holes in the center, uh, then I could just run a long axle straight through the middle of the uh, entire thing and this function would work perfectly. But there are no such uh, pieces, I can't do that. So instead, I run the function through about 20 gears, so it works quite badly, but it does work. And there are a lot of clutch gears uh, that I that can easily separate, so I'll hold it up so they uh, stay together. Let's see if I can turn it here. Yep, it works quite good. Uh, you can't get enough torque to do anything useful but it's just a proof of concept so it's good enough and the fourth function um, is uh, one of the most complicated the uh, second most complicated so and it works quite terribly bad too so let's take a look at this ah uh, it actually works almost yeah, look at that, it works. Um, well, uh, that was all of the functions. I am not going to make a video explaining any of this, because it's way too complicated. But I will make a video explaining the smaller one. Uh, I'm going to try to explain it intuitively, so anyone can understand it. And the same principle goes for the big one here. So hopefully you will be able to understand most of what's going on in here. Uh, but anyways, that is almost all for this, but I just gotta say it looks really cool with all these gears and stuff turning around in here, but sadly it, it doesn't do anything useful really. Well, thanks for watching, bye.